what's up guys, James here, how's it going? Uh, so this video is going to be my final final say on the whole baby gate fiasco um, and after this I will be moving into things which are far more interesting, bit of science, a couple of projects, etc. Um, but yeah, there's a few more things which I think need uh, saying on the subject. Um, for a start, a few people have uh, pointed out to me that it may be possible that babies have an inbuilt god concept. And whilst I personally doubt this quite strongly, it may of course be possible. Perhaps there is an area of the brain which is pre-programmed to uh, believe in a creator. Uh, neuroscience uh, may eventually answer this question, but for now I'm not going to debate this. And of course this doesn't make um, uh, atheism or the theism uh, right or wrong either. However, my last video I was responding to Jack and going off of uh, Jack's logic and Jack's position that Effectively, babies are a clean slate um, without a, gon a god concept and without the, the ability to understand a god, uh, god concept either. And I was also going off of the definition of, um, not of atheism being not believing in god. Um, of course, atheist is broken down, can be broken down to three parts. A meaning not, theo meaning god, and ist, which is a person who adheres to. So, a theist is someone who adheres to the concept of God, and an atheist is not a theist. Um, a baby is a person who does not adhere to a belief in God, so using this definition, as silly as the question is, babies are not atheists, just as my cable isn't married and it's, an, and it's a non-smoker. However, there are uh, some people uh, some of which I have a lot of respect for, which disagree with the uh, definition. So the two definitions which um, people use for atheists are a lack of belief in God, um, and the other definition is an active dismissal of the belief in God. Um, but if you're talking about people who have the mental capacity to choose their own beliefs, um, then these two definitions seem to be pretty much interchangeable because you'd be very hard pushed to find someone who's mentally capable who hasn't heard the, gon uh, the God concept. And by hearing the God concept and not believing it, you have uh, dismissed the belief. So 99% of the time, um, arguing over which definition is correct is utterly pointless. Uh, there are, of course, tribes, however, which have gone their entire lives without the concept of a god. So, by the first definition, calling them atheists is completely accurate, whereas by the second definition, you cannot call them atheists, because they, haven't, they simply haven't heard the god concept in order to dismiss it. So, if you're using dismissal of god as the definition of atheist, we will need a new word to describe a tribe such as this. So, what would you call them? Saying non-religious doesn't get you any closer to defining them either. I've met atheists who describe themselves as non-religious because they don't like the connotations which come along with being labelled an atheist. And I've also met people who believe in God but call themselves non-religious because they don't um, adhere to a particular religion. Calling them agnostics doesn't make any sense either, uh, just as it doesn't make uh, sense with babies. Uh, in order for someone to be not sure about something, they must have at least heard and be open to the positive claim which opposes it. We don't naturally believe, for example, that you can tell how old someone's going to live to by looking at the lines on their hand. Uh, and being um, on being told this nonsense, uh, if you were asked before hearing it, were, um, were you agnostic or were you, un um, were you unsure about it, most people would say no, regardless of whether or not they chose to believe the claim or not. Um, and this analogy also demonstrates that the, de uh, the default, default position of not believing a claim due to lack of thought on the subject has absolutely no bearing on the intelligence of the person unknowledgeable of the claim itself. Um, I'm not going to argue any more about the definition of the word atheist because most of the time, like, um, like I said, the terms are interchangeable um, in adults who are mentally capable so it doesn't really make much difference. However, if you do adhere to the second uh, definition, that being the act of dismissal of a belief in God, how would you describe uh, the belief or non-belief of a tribe who hasn't heard of a God concept? 